Okay, here I have um, the coil machine, uh, which was created by a gentleman named Doug McLean. Um, so here I have it completely set up, and I'm going to quickly go over just the basic setup in this video, uh, the different components and the setup. So what we have here, you'll notice that they're stacked uh, in, a, in a specific order. The top unit here, this is known as the frequency generator. The middle, this is the amp. And the bottom box is the capacitor. Um, and then over here, uh, it's recommended that this piece is always at least six feet away while operating the machine, and this is the coil. You could look at the coil and it has a fan behind it, which is meant to obviously cool the coil. So while operating, you would be sitting about here, two feet directly in front of the coil, possibly. Uh, two, three feet, something like that. So um, in terms of setting things up, uh, the, the last thing as far as stacking these is I, I kind of just came up with these little cardboard pieces to act as a buffer because the amp can get warm and this just provides it with a little bit of vent space underneath it. So now let's look to the, uh, the connections for the different uh, cables and wires. Um, the, the coil has two connection points here into the capacitor, a red and a black. Um, that's pretty self-explanatory. And, uh, and then the cooling fan has its own connection here. Um, I'll go over the, the, the on off switches and that kind of thing here, the actual operating instructions in another video. But uh, if we go up here to the top of the frequency generator, we'll see that the frequency generator has a cable. It goes into the, the far right. It's the output 50. Let's see if I can show you that there. And then that connects into the amp. So it's a, it's a small cable that will actually connect into the back of the amp into channel one, okay? It has to be into channel one. Uh, the next connections deal with connecting the amp to the capacitor. So here we've got uh, four different wires black, red, red, black, and these connect in a very specific way. So here the top black, up here, these sort of loosen, these connections loosen. It allows the, the end of the wire to slot in and then it can be retightened. The top black on the amp goes to the, bot, the black on channel one, down here. That's the bottom of channel one, that's the top black on the amp. Then you come down to the second one down, it's the red on the amp. The first red from the top on the amp connects to the red channel one down here on the capacitor. The next one is the third one down on the amp, also red. And that's going to connect to the red channel two. And then finally, you've got the last black wire on the amp, which is the bottom, and that's going to connect down here all the way down to the black channel too. So pretty simple, but those have to be done in that specific order. Um, you want to make sure that you don't force anything, uh, but you do want to make sure everything is connected securely and completely um, where it needs to be. Uh, and then the final thing is of course power. Um, everything has its own uh, power cord. You've got the uh, frequency generator, you've got the amp, and you've got the uh, the capacitor here has got its own. And so what I do, um, generally, I'll actually put them into a power cord um, and then a, a surge protector. Uh, in this case, I just have them into a power cord, um, but a surge protector is probably recommended. And uh, and that's it as far as the actual setup of the machine. And I'll see if I can do another video to actually cover the operating instructions.